If you're looking for a high-paying job that will make you work 12-hour shifts on a daily basis, then look no further. These massive ocean-bound oil pumps are some of the most profitable machines in the world. And while living and working on one may be tough, the pay is apparently very good. So today, we invite you to come aboard as we take a look at the top 15 biggest oil rigs in the world. Number 15. The Bald Pate If you ever happen to sail in the waters south of Louisiana, then you may come across the Bald Pate Oil Rig. Located about 195 kilometers off the coast, it's owned and operated by the Hess Corporation and stands apart due to it being designed to sway wildly during a storm, with a lateral movement of up to 3 meters being possible during severe conditions. In any case, this oil rig is a major reason behind why the Hess Corporation is the fifth largest producer of oil in the Gulf of Mexico, as the platform's seven wells can pump out about 50,000 barrels per day, with 104 million barrels of oil being recoverable from the area. In order to create the rig itself, Hess awarded the construction contract to J. Ray McDermott Engineering of Houston, Texas, and now Bolt Pate stands apart for being one of the world's premier wells. Number 14 the Benguela Belize Lobito Tomboco platform. While this platform may have a ridiculously long name, it turns out that it also has a ridiculously long length. Coming in at 512 meters in height, it's one of the tallest oil rigs in the world. And with a production rate of 220,000 barrels per day, it's certainly a world heavyweight in the realm of oil extraction. It's located about 100 kilometers off the coast of Angola in the lower Congo Basin. Given that it has an upper area that's approximately the size of two and a half football fields and living space for 157 people, it is absolutely massive. So yeah, while Angola may not be known for its oil reserves, this oil platform certainly puts it on the map. Number 13. The Blue Whale 2 As far as oil rigs go, the Blue Whale 2 is very unique. That's because rather than work like a standard oil rig, this self-propelling drill can operate in 3,600 meters of water and reach a depth of 15,000 meters. For reference, it's about double the height of Mount Everest. The reason why it can drill so low is that it can mine flammable ice, which is a methane hydrate that's been found under the South China Sea. This gas is formed through a combination of sub-zero temperatures and intense pressure it's thought that one cubic meter can produce the equivalent energy of 164 cubic meters of ordinary natural gas. To top this off, the Blue Whale 2 can travel at up to 10 knots to reach an optimal position in the field and can withstand high-speed winds of up to 200 kilometers an hour. So while the deposits it drills may be a little different than oil, rigs like the Blue Whale 2 may soon outcompete their more conventional competition. Number 12. The Belbazem Block Development Project the United Arab Emirates is known for being an extremely oil-rich country, but of all the new projects it has underway, the Belbazem block looks very interesting. While not yet complete, the hope is that after this joint venture by the Abu Dhabi National Oil Company and China National Petroleum Corporation is completed, a total of 45,000 barrels per day will be extracted from it, and once drilled, this gas will then be sent over to the massive Zirku Island Terminal which has six storage tanks with a combined capacity of approximately six million barrels. So while this project may not be completed until 2023, we'll be keeping a close eye on any new developments surrounding it. Number 11. The Mozambique Offshore Area 1 Project While Mozambique may not be well known for its oil reserves, it turns out that about 40 kilometers offshore, there lies a massive oil reserve. Known by the incredibly creative name as Offshore Area No. 1, it covers about 2.6 million acres at a depth of around 1,600 meters and holds a massive 2.1 trillion cubic meters of oil. Now, in order to take advantage of this expansive oil field, a conglomerate of international oil companies, both large and small, have invested about $3.9 billion into the project with the idea being that a vast network of oil wells will be interconnected in order to transport vast quantities of oil onto the shore. However, with the first wells expected to be completed by 2024, only time will tell whether or not this mega-project will be successful. Number 10. The Troll A Platform There are plenty of high-tech oil platforms out there, but we say the one that stands apart for being one of the most advanced of them all is the Troll A Platform. Located in the Troll gas field off the west coast of Norway, it has an overall height of 472 meters and a weight of 1.1 million tons. 
and it's a gravity-based structure that uses four concrete legs to support the platform. Given that these legs are hollow, they're essentially like concrete cups turned upside down, as they create a dry space within them that can be worked inside of by laborers and can be used to extract oil. Interestingly, the platform also has quite a few amenities to make one's stay as comfortable as possible, with these including beautiful lounges and living areas that are more akin to hotels or apartment complexes than cold, dingy dormitories. So when you consider that this type of design is pretty much unique to this oil rig, we'd say that it's a type of technique that's certainly noteworthy. Number 9. The Bullwinkle While oil rigs can have a massive economic potential, they don't last forever, as is currently being illustrated by an oil rig known as the Bullwinkle. When it was installed back in 1988, the total weight of the platform was around 70,000 tons, and at the time of its construction, its height of 529 meters made it the third tallest freestanding structure in the world after the CN Tower and the Ostenquino Tower. Located in the Gulf of Mexico, the Bullwinkle cost a total of $500 million to build and was a pioneer in terms of drilling in the Gulf. However, in 2010, Superior Energy Services took ownership of the platform and planned to decommission it at the end of its economic life. Yet despite the fact that it only produces about 4,000 barrels of oil per day, the company has decided to hold on to the Bullwinkle, with the expected decommissioning date now being at some point in 2038. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. The Priyazlomnaya Platform Russia is by far one of the world's most important Arctic countries, as it has an Arctic coastline that extends for about 24,000 kilometers, and that it's filled with valuable resources such as mineral deposits and oil. Yet due to the inhospitable conditions up there, it's hard to extract most of these resources. But despite this, Russia still has one single oil platform on its Arctic shelf. Known as the Priraslomnaya platform, it was built by the oil company Gazprom and is located about 60 kilometers offshore on the Prechora Sea Shelf, and it faces some of the toughest weather conditions in the world. After all, the temperatures in the area can plunge to as low as negative 48 degrees Celsius. The waves in the area can reach heights of up to 9 meters, and the nearby ice sheets can be up to 2 meters tall. As a result, it's equipped with an ice-resistant platform that extends to a depth of 20 meters. And this makes the oil rig safe despite its extreme location. In fact, it's been reported that the area where it's located has about 63.5 million tons of oil. And in 2019, the platform pumped out an impressive 2.8 million tons in just one year. So, we think it's fair to say that this platform's success may convince other companies to follow Gazprom's lead and begin constructing oil rigs in the Arctic. Number 7. The Lufeng 14-4 China has certainly been in the bad books of other world powers in recent months, and their plan to put out a massive oil rig in the South China Sea certainly isn't helping their case. You see, while part of the South China Sea does belong to China, it's also shared with many other countries. But in recent months, China has been asserting its dominance by claiming to own large swaths of the sea that are actually not owned by them. More specifically, the area in question is the Lingshui 172 gas field, which is located 150 kilometers off the Chinese coast and has had its ownership contested by five other nations. And while this 150 kilometer distance makes it outside of China's jurisdiction, according to international law, that hasn't stopped China from going ahead and claiming it anyway. And it's been reported that after the country spent 21 months building the platform, they finally installed it over the disputed gas field in May of 2021 with the general director of the Lufeng Oil Complex project stating that once operational, the platform would explore the Lufeng 14-4 and Lufeng 14-8 oil fields and provide more natural gas and oil resources for the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area. In any case, this 45,000 ton oil platform is absolutely massive and shows that China is willing to put itself out there in order to make its expansive territorial claims. Number 6. The Akabami FPSO While most of the entries on this list are bona fide oil rigs, the Abgami FPSO is a little different. Located over the Abgami oil field in Nigeria, it's home to nearly 900 million barrels of oil. Yet despite this massive reservoir, it's yet to be exploited by a major oil rig. However, in the place of an oil rig stands a much easier to operate FPSO. 
An FPSO is essentially a large ship that's able to extend injection lines into the sea in order to extract oil, which can then be offloaded by a tanker to sell abroad. The advantage of an FPSO is that it's relatively cheap and can be moved from location to location. However, because of its smaller scope, it's unable to extract as much oil as an oil rig. Regardless, the Abgami FPSO is considered to be one of the largest FPSOs in the world, and at its peak it could extract up to 250,000 barrels of oil per day and store as much as 2.1 million barrels at a time. Given that it costs $1.2 billion and it's the size of three football fields, this type of production is ideal. But due to the nature of this type of extraction, 250,000 barrels is a relatively ambitious number, as today it usually pumps out just about 140,000 barrels of oil per day. Regardless, we're sure that the Abgami FPSO has made its owners a lot of money ever since it was launched in 2007. Number 5. The Perdido Shell is known for its many oil rigs, but out of all of them, Perdido is easily one of the most technologically advanced. It's considered to be the world's second deepest oil and gas production hub because it's moored in water that's about 2,400 meters deep. And as far as size goes, it weighs about 55,000 tons and has decks that are the approximate size of two football fields, and this makes it a formidable oil platform. Now, the spar, which is the main structure of the oil platform, was built in Pori, Finland, and was so large that it's nearly as tall as the Eiffel Tower. It took two million man-hours to build. Once constructed, it was then shipped to its home in the Alaminos Canyon area of the Gulf of Mexico, and after 20 days of assembly, it was ready to go by September of 2008. In terms of tech, the Perdido has a lot that makes it stand apart. One of the biggest differentiators is that it's practically hurricane-proof as the bottom of the spar not only has iron ore ballast to keep it upright and stable, but also has the ability to take on ballast water in order to prevent the oil rig from bobbing side to side by more than a few meters. The spar's position can also be adjusted to best suit the weather conditions coming its way, meaning that it's able to withstand even the most powerful of storms. Beyond hurricane protection, the Perdido also makes use of extremely precise measurements, with the total weight of the final spar being so exact that it was only one ton off from the previously made measurements. When you further consider that this meant that the team had to account for how the heat would expand the materials when transported from the cold country of Finland to the hot area of the Gulf of Mexico, it's fair to say that a lot of care was put into making the Perdido as precise as possible. Number 4. The Olympus As far as oil rigs go, few look quite as gargantuan as the Olympus. Located in the Gulf of Mexico, production first began in January of 2014 after it was constructed and transported from South Korea in 2013, and it currently stands as the largest oil platform in the region. Believe it or not, this 945-meter-tall monstrosity facilitates a total of 48 wells that pump out an incredible 350,000 barrels of oil per day. It is expected to deliver over 1 billion barrels of oil over its lifetime, and as of now, it's already extracted over 700 million. It does so with the help of the Olympus platform drilling rig and additional floating drill rig, with all this being facilitated by something known as a tension leg platform. What this means is that the oil rig is bolted to the ground with the help of tethers or tendons grouped at each of the structure's corners, with each of these groups being known as a tension leg. All of these mechanics make the Olympus quite heavy, as it comes in at a total weight of about 110,000 tons and employs a total of 192 people at any one time. In terms of ownership, Shell is a majority owner at 71% and BP is a minority owner at 28% and the Olympus stands as an extremely valuable asset for both companies. In any case, Shell expects the Olympus to be viable until at least 2050, and as such, it is fair to say that the Olympus really is a top-tier oil rig that will continue to provide oil for years to come. Number 3. The Hibernia While Canada's oil sands are where most of its oil production comes from, it turns out that it also has some pretty profitable oil rigs out on the East Coast, and of all of them out there, Hibernia is easily one of the largest. Located about 315 kilometers off the coast of the Canadian city of St. John's, it's one of the world's largest oil rigs at a ridiculously heavy 637,000 tons and was primarily constructed in a nearby bay. 
completed in 1997 after about six years of construction, it produces an impressive 126,000 barrels of crude oil per day, with a total of 1.2 billion barrels estimated to be in the oil field. Interestingly, unlike many other oil rigs, it's jointly owned and operated by not only a cabal of oil companies, but also by the government of Canada, who currently owns a 10% stake in the project. Now, in order for it to stick to the seafloor, it makes use of a gravity-based structure, which in essence means that it's secured to the ground by the force of gravity, with this being possible thanks to the fact that the oil rig is extremely heavy. However, Hibernia also stands apart for being the site of a few spills. That's because in July of 2019 alone, it suffered two oil spills, with a total of 12,000 liters being dumped into the ocean. This caused the rig to be closed down temporarily while cleanup efforts were underway. While this certainly was a roadblock, the rig is now operating as per usual. Number 2. The Petronius Out of all the oil rigs on this list, Petronius stands apart for being a disputed record holder. You see, the oil rig was built by Chevron between 1997 and 2000 in the Gulf of Mexico, and once it completed, it measured in at an impressive 640 meters tall. For a time, this made it a disputed record holder, as this height made it above the largest building in the world. However, since only 75 meters of it is above the water, and the rest is partially supported by the buoyancy, many experts were unsure whether or not it would have been able to support its weight if it was built entirely above water and thus its claim to fame remained disputed until the Burj Khalifa was built in 2010 and officially surpassed it. Beyond its height, Petronius is also a standout due to the fact that it's a compliant tower design, which means that unlike most other towers that are built to withstand the forces of nature, Petronius is designed to move with them, as it will purposefully flex with the forces of the waves, wind, and current at a rate of up to 2%. While doing so, the 46,000-ton oil rig pumps out about 60,000 barrels of oil per day, with the help of 10 producing wells and 7 water injection wells. Interestingly, the Petronius oil field, where the Petronius oil rig is located, was only discovered in 1995 and is home to about 80 to 100 million barrels of oil. Now, in order to take advantage of such a productive oil field, capital was provided by the field's dual owners, Texaco and Marathon which after a $500 million investment was enough to create Petronius. So, while this price may seem a little crazy, we'd bet that the amount of oil that has been extracted from the area has more than made up for it. Number 1. The Berkut While there are plenty of large rigs out there, few come anywhere close to the Berkut oil rig. Located on Russia's eastern coast in the Sea of Okost, it was constructed at a cost of $12 billion by the Sakhalin 1 Consortium which is an international group of oil companies from the United States, Russia, Japan, and India, which includes the likes of ExxonMobil and Rosneft within its ranks. Now, the oil rig is built atop of the Arkutun Dagi field, which spreads for more than 60 kilometers and contains about 65 million tons of recoverable oil reserves. In order to take advantage of this oil field, Berkut has a total of 45 wells, with these including 28 oil-producing wells, 6 water injection wells, and a cutting reinjection well. In total, the entire structure comes in at a staggering 160,000 tons, and it's expected that it will consistently extract 4.1 million tons of oil per year and provide the Russian government with about $900 million in tax revenues per year, making it a great long-term investment. Now, in order for this design to work, the platform is built on a gravity-based structure, which is fixed to the seabed at a depth of about 35 meters. Using 52,000 cubic meters of concrete and 24,000 tons of reinforced steel in its construction, it is this design and these great materials that allow the oil rig to function properly. Yet, the oil rig also has to deal with the elements. After all, the weather conditions around Berkut are absolutely brutal, with temperatures reaching as low as negative 44 degrees Celsius and waves reaching as much as 18 meters in height. The rig also features a newly developed ice protection belt made from concrete in order to withstand the tremendous pressure exerted by ice sheets of up to 2 meters in thickness, while also protecting against the shaking caused by earthquakes. So yeah, it's fair to say that the Berkut is truly indestructible. Watch our Machines playlist for more top 15 videos about awesome machines. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best machine videos.